Hi, I'm Zach with Emotive, and today we're going to go through unboxing and first use of your Emotive Epoch headset. If you go ahead and open the box now, you'll find the packing slip, and this is included with every headset and has all of the contents. Then you'll find standard sterile saline solution. This is very common and easy to find in grocery stores, drug stores, and pharmacies. Next is the hydrator pack, and inside of that, you'll find each of your sensors with the felt pads on top of them. Next is the USB power charger. This is not included in international versions. And then of course the headset, and you'll notice that the sensors are not installed and you can see the individual contacts in the receptacles the USB dongle for receiving transmissions from the headset, and of course the warranty card. Next, let's take a closer look at the Epoch headset. If you examine it closely, you'll notice that each of the sensor positions is open, except for two that are capped with rubber comfort pads. These are placed there as a aesthetic comfort behind your ears, but they are interchangeable and can be moved to the reference positions. Once moved, the positions that they originally occupied behind and below your ears become the reference positions. So these are interchangeable and can be moved at any time. Now let's take a closer look at the hydrator pack the sensors, and how to moisturize the sensors. Go ahead and grab your saline solution and your hydrator pack. Before we get started, let's take a closer look at the sensors themselves. If you remove one, you'll notice it's comprised of three different pieces. First up is the felt, which is easily removed from the mounting ring. And then inside of the mounting ring, you'll see the metal contact plate. These can easily become separated during shipping, so it's important to know how to reassemble them once you receive the headset. First take the metal contact plate, place it with the concavity facing up, then take the mounting ring and place it on top, and then using your thumb, simply snap it back into place. It doesn't require much effort. And place the felt back in, and you're ready to go. To prepare the sensors, Grab your saline solution and place it to the head of each felt. Then use enough saline on each that they're fairly saturated, but not entirely soaked. It's important that you always do this in the hydrator pack to avoid damage to the headset's componentry. Installing sensors on the Epoch is very simple. Once you've moistened the sensors, grab the headset, Look at the position you want to install into, grab a sensor, and simply twist it into place. You'll feel it lock into position when it's ready. Then give the felt a gentle press to lock into place, and move on to each individual position. Make sure you install all 16 sensors. Now you're almost ready to use the headset. Take a look at the individual sensors and make sure that the felt pads are still in place. These can sometimes come out between uses, so simply press them in place, and then when they're in place on the head, they'll stay in position. Go ahead and take a look at the power switch and flip it on, and you'll notice the blue indicator light come on. If the indicator light isn't on, then it's time to charge your headset. Grab your charger or USB cable and plug it in here. Let it charge for a full cycle, and then you'll be ready to use the headset.